in the middle here with the match referee, Dennis Lindsay from South Africa, and the two captains, Sarah Ganguly from India and Heath Streak from Zimbabwe. Heath Streak's to toss the coin. Tails is the call. It's come out heads. Heath Streak has won the toss. What are you going to do, Streaky? Dave, we're going to have a bet. Uh, it looks a pretty good wicket, and uh, I think they'll hold out pretty well, so hopefully we can get a good start. Um, obviously, I'll remove two test matches to go. We've got to lay the foundation, and if we further win the program. Well, it's great to have you guys in the country. Have a really good series, and uh, have a good day. Thanks, Dave. Thank you very much. Well, these are the two sides that have been picked. Guy Whittle, Lynn Abraham, Stuart Carlisle, Alistair Campbell, Andy Flower, and Grant Flower. Heath Streak is the captain. Blith Norton, Travis Friend is playing. He's uh, making his test debut, Brian Murphy and... Schneera was the bowler. And this one, Whittle trying to hit it a little too hard, just dragging that wide delivery back onto the stumps. Lucky break for the Indians there. Because if you really look at it, uh, it's not the kind of delivery you'd expect getting a wicket from. And Guy Whittle, he'll be disappointed. So, India have got the early breakthrough that they will... That's punched away on the onside. A chase for Shrina. Now trying something different. Coming round the wicket and he's been punished. That's a good shot. With an offer. And Abraham has climbed onto it. The big smashing cut. This one guided. He's got bat and ball. And he's done that very well. Just the one boundary. Just part of the morning session. Yes, just a bit of great touch, and he's it through the covers for four. A very handsome shot. Really, these are different conditions all together. Ball nicely coming onto the bat, and away she goes, scurrying to the boundary. Dramatic change. All the ways of getting out of the ball, that has to be the worst. And if Brian must breathe just a touch more freely, the feel for it. Interesting. Almost instinctive. Uh, I think uh, he was backing up too far, but then just brink of the moment. He but did not call for the replay. It hit, it hit the bowler's hand for sure. Didn't call for the replay. Now, the stumps, it's on its way there. So is the bat. That's down now. Bill is off. On that, I think he'd want to take a look at the precise moment for the non striker to really go a few feet ahead. But then the red light has to flash and it's on its way back because it has so unhappy start for Ibrahim, is still just a young man. <laughs> That's pulled away. That's a fine shot to get off the mark. The man at fine leg. That came out the middle. So that'll give him lots of confidence. That's a fine shot. Over pitch from Srinath. And Campbell very quickly onto it. Second boundary for him. That's punched off the back foot. No need to run for that. That will reach the boundary. I just said as Zahir Khan came on that his first didn't miss out this time either. Smashed through the covers for four. Yes, yes! That's taken. That's gone past the outside edge, slanted across the left hander. Take his outside edge. VVS Lakshman making no mistake. He's a safe fielder in the slip cordon. Hard work has been dismissed. Well, just six or seven minutes before lunch. That's a good ball. It doesn't swing, just holds its line. Allow pushing away from the front pad. That's a that's a really good catch. A not easy low down like that. Well gone just before lunch for 29, 65 for three Zimbabwe. I think you should be bowling up front to Alistair Campbell because he's just come in and you you definitely make him play on the front foot rather than putting the ball on the back foot and uh, giving him the shots that he likes to play. That's what we're talking about, and it was a half chance that flew very quickly. And, uh, and he just timed it in cricket, and he got away with it. Unlucky Zahir Khan, it's really a bit of frustration for him. He was unlucky. Khan, he operates in that area, he's going to be dangerous. 
That's too short, and that's a magnificent shot by Andy Flower, using the bounce of the ball to just lift it over the cover area. A couple of bounces over the ropes. Very short. There's a lot of room, and Andy Flower really quickly capitalizes on that, latches on to that opportunity. Very nearly went for six, this one. Definitely intended. No third man in position. That is right up in the air, and that will be out. DJ takes it. And Zimbabwe really tottering at this situation. Went past slip. This one, a hoik. Got the leading edge straight up in the air. He shows his disappointment and a shake of head. Trying to hit this over mid-wicket against the spin. Straight up in the air. All Diga has to make sure is that he's underneath it. Regulation catch. Zimbabwe's fourth wicket falls with a score on 89. Alistair Campbell gone for 21. Okay. That's good. And he's induced edge. And India's cut again. Just on and around that watch dump area. And Srinath has struck for India. Up there for the drive. And swing in as much as Grant Flower thinks. That played a long way from the body. The neck. Everyone heard the sound. So Zimbabwean fifth wicket has fallen. Grant Flower. He's gone for five. Zimbabwe 97 for five. He'll cut him away. So strong in, in that area is Andy Flower. This will go away to the boundary. And runs for Zimbabwe, appreciated by this small son of Gavaskar. Thank you, Andy. It's Andy Flower versus India all over again. And sort of Ganguly must be wondering what's changed. The other batsmen don't get too many, but Andy Flowers hangs in there and gets all the runs. Oh, well, it's a beautiful ball. Just that kind of ball. Well, that's it. But there he is. He's gone to the to the pitch of the ball, then seeing that it... Well, that's conference as well. I don't quite think it came out the middle of the bat, but he's willing to play shots. We'll be looking for three here. Well, hey, hey, hey. No! I'll tell you, that's... There should have been three. There should have been. The batsman popped again about going for the third one. He's got, he's got runs in that area as Andy Flower has picked up another four. And I think the eyes told a little story there between... See, see that, see that? He's tried to hit it up deliberately. He's got under and over. And that's good batting. There it is. And I think it's the confidence you were speaking about as well. And the confidence to be able to play a shot that you want to. 29 not out from 23 balls. Besides, lost five wickets already. That's aggressive cricket for you mm. now was that a good lead yes it was I think he was looking to come Andy Flower's favorite country and it just got better now, that's running away for fourth so they don't have to worry about running two or three it's more runs and Srinath can stare as much as he wants down the wicket that was a much better shot perfectly balanced the front foot going to the pitch of the ball, playing it a little bit on the up, but that's the kind of wicket uh, this is when you get your eye in, when you have your confidence high, and a lovely follow through. Oh, just wide and four more. Ashish Nera was at point. Srinath would like to believe that it should have gone ahead. It was four. Well, he realizes that there's not much batting to come after uh, this wicket so I think uh, he's doing the right thing he's got a bit of width over there he's in good form he's middling most of the deliveries that are that he's facing Going on the up this time that's what he's been doing because Srinath's length has not been full it's been short and this is turning out to be such a good pitch to bat on the ball's coming on quite hard has then one edge then pass the slip Gordon that went very fast. The extra bounce. Just got the feeling it was a little too close to him to cut. 
don't think Lakshman picked it in the slip cordon. Went very quickly past him. That's a lovely shot. He stood up tall there and punched it through the offside. And go back for three here. Another 50 for Andy Flaher. And it's come in very good time. He's taken the attack to the opposition. He'll know that his job is only half done at this stage. 51 of just 44 balls, seven boundaries punctuating his innings. That's in the air. He's going to go this time. He'll be disappointed. Ashish Nera has struck here. This is a big blow for Zimbabwe. Andy Flaher dismissed. He was looking to work it away on the onside. That ball. Once again, Ravi Ashish Nera, only in his second test, has struck a really good breakthrough for India here. On the dash, the Andy Man. Finger has gone up. A loud appeal. The umpire took his time there, Daryl Harper. A yorker from Ashish Nera. Yes, Ravi, Ashish Nera once again, proving to be a worthy selection. Really good Yorker, scaring it in at leg stump. Leg stump, once again, good piece of bowling bar. As the captain still there. going over the top on that occasion, not quite timing it as well as he would have liked. He'll still get three. And that'll end the over. 50. Good shot by Brian Murphy. Neatly flicked off the hips. Fine leg is quite square. He'll cut it off, just a single. That's a big shot. Now then, Russell Tiffin will call for the third umpire. The LBW shot was very hopeful. Ball pitched outside leg. This runner thinks he's got an opportunity to take a run. Diga behind the stumps, the glove off, the shy. He streak. Well, it's very tight. Well then. Oh, ball striking. Gloves in line. Takes the glove off so that he can get the ball in the hand to throw. Direct hit. Great piece of work by the keeper. Well, what we saw was uh, the Zimbabwe batsman trying to play shots when none were called for. All these runs go in the book. Might not quite be uh, in the direction in which Alonga intended. That's a good looking shot by Henry Alonga, got one fuller here, put it back past the bowler in the air for four. He has got, quite got his Yorker right, uh, Zahir Fahri, he's been trying to York uh, Alonga. Alonga very quick to seize on to that uh, full toss, and you can see around the knee, so it's just going a little fuller than he intends, uh, Zahir Khan. There's another soft dismissal. It's a slow ball from Zahir Khan. It's deceived Brian Murphy, who's pushed hard at it. And only we also have to give credit to the Indian captain for having placed that fielder there. It's a short cover. You don't normally see it, but he's had that man in position for quite a while now. He's checked the, checked the drive Murphy has, but uh, not enough. Because Rahul Dravid has taken a simple catch slow down. Yes, thank you, sir. That's too good, right? This one, Alonga has got hold of, and he's hit it for six. He didn't need to split Miran and Midwicket. He did so, hit it over the ropes instead. Well, he's signaling intentions. Any longer got another go. This one's gone straight up, and Digo will take a simple catch, and the end of the Zimbabwean innings. Perish softly, have the Zimbabweans 173 all out. 
from the other end. Very clever bowling as well because he knew that uh, Alonga was going to try and loft him. So he's pitched it around the off stump, the one uh, that goes uh, straight with the arm rather than turns. Alonga only managing to get a top edge. Simple catch to Samir Dige, but a big hitting in this over. 173 all resistance 51 of 45 balls it was belligerent innings from him the 29 from Stuart Carlisle 21 Alistair Campbell held by Ashish Nira 12 overs 3 for 23 Zir Khan 11 overs 2 for 54 a little bit managed their reply it just carries on that's a very good attitude over a thousand runs the pretty healthy average That is a great delivery. It swung into the left-hander, who never really left the crease to come forward, and it's gone through the gate. Well, I just talked about the fact that he's got uh, not the kind of technique that the purists would love. The footwork is uh, minimal. You can see over there once again, footwork minimal, playing inside the line of the ball, missing it completely, losing his off. That is an absolutely glorious shot. Over pitched, nice little half volley and put away with consummate ease by Laxman. Step towards the ball, he's hit it late underneath his eyes and he's put the full face straight through the ball and the power with which he's hit it. And no feel he even bothered to turn around, that was just a uh, go back and pitch it. Lots of time. That ball was dug in short, almost at his bootlaces, and came up nice and slow, like a balloon might. Pulled away in emphatic style. The ball sitting up, asking to be hit. Lakshman's the kind of player who's not going to miss out on uh, loose deliveries like that. More runs. Boundary. He's just bowling too short at the moment. And when you're bowling 120 kilometers an hour, as that speed gun shows, you've got to be bowling closer to the batsman than yourself. Doesn't even have to get across with that back foot of his. Just stands up there and punches it past mid on. He's hit that in front of mid wicket. Just goes to shoot. Three boundaries for him. Uh, that's one of the things with DVS Lakshman. You err in uh, in length, and he seems to find hitting the fence so easily now. That probably wasn't the best time shot, but it still hit the boundary. Yes. He see the bat play it's closing there but still has enough legs on it to reach the boundary it's the third boundary of Lickmott and that'll be runs as well in fact that'll be a boundary as well well played by Das he got on top of that for a small man not very easy and he kept it down that is the essence of the shot that. nicely rolling his wrist on top of that one that he had both his feet off the ground when he made contact with his ball. And he blicked out. That's too straight. And it's beautifully placed through the leg side. Previous Laxman really looking in control here. And that's gone for four. Lakshman really has dominated right from the word go. He's a sort of player who really backs his natural instincts. There you see a roll of the wrist and the way she goes. Exquisite timings. This field by Brown Murphy at cover there. Just be the one. Put back onto it. Good recovery. That's well played on the pads. Fine down to man at long legs. So just the one. Not too sure. Uh, that's up on his toes. Vivius Lakshman. Exquisite timing through the covers. It's a bit of a teaser and the ball will beat him and they are 54 up and on his up on his toes he's really oozing with confidence at the moment Vivius Lakshman runs behind his back really is a confident man it really shows in his cricket Lakshman has dominated yes. that's in the air and it will go straight to Guy Whittle at mid -arm. And a false shot just as BBS Laxman looked to be in total control. 
really tried losing the confidence. Uh, I think uh, I said it too early. This Lakshman really perishing. Not really in position. He didn't swivel too much. He had to pivot on his feet. Just opened up a bit. The ball really not coming in the middle of the bat. Previous Lakshman perishing. What a fine shot. His toes, not a tall man. Bouncy wicket. That's all timing. Room for Tendulkar. He stood up on his toes and just punched it through cover for four. Exceptionally elegant, Sachin Tendulkar. There was a certain degree of arrogance in the manner in which he played that shot. Look Heavy at that. bat. Use it to the absolute max. Plays it so late. Therefore, the gap is just to the right of cover. That's a streaky shot. That's a stars. Launching into the cut shot. He slashed hard. The ball flies over the slips. Four. Sundar Das not getting over the ball. Well, there was a half chance there. The slow ball from Brighton with Tumbwa and a little bit of width offered. Brian Murphy diving to his left. Just couldn't get a hand on it. Tendulka will get a boundary, but it was heart and mouth stuff at one stage there. He didn't reach at the ball. I think uh, it was too far off for him, uh, too wide for him to play that shot. Checking his shot just at the last moment. Unable to keep it down, Tepin Tendulkar. But despairing die, Wall and Wayne. <laughs> Big appeal, first ball ends out, bad bad. Shifts on the bus. Fall into the man at Silly Point. Fantastic catch and just what the doctor ordered. Very difficult even from this angle to tell whether it's come off bat as well. Definitely hit pad first. Das was so 13 in wickets down. Das gone for 30, 81 for 3. That is a brilliant catch. Javagal Sinat out to the second ball of the day. Gaivikal again diving to his left. Played it upishly. Passed him too. It wasn't a bad shot. Ball was a little leg side. Picked it off nice and neatly. Guy Whittle, absolutely brilliant. Diving a long way to his left. Two handed. Plucked it out the air, so India, fourth wicket down for 83. Tendulkar away, straight away, beautifully flicked off his uh, legs. Timing immaculate, that'll go all the way. So first runs for India, boundary off the bat of Tendulkar. Not give him such easy runs first thing in the morning. Beautifully timed. He is so good off his legs, man. He's good all round the wicket. Well, his bat on that, that's for sure. It's racing away. Brightonwood Tumbo is doing his best to cut it off. He can't manage it. Good effort. So, Ganguly. Some blind to Saurav Ganguly. He's able to glance it away for runs. Round the wicket now, and that's punched down the ground. No need to run for that. The timing's good. And a boundary here for Tendulka. You're in form. And Sachin Tendulka is a master at this type of shot. It's the ball so straight. Blows the bat, straight down the line. No chance for Mirov to get anywhere near it. Yes, it was right in the slot, but you've still got to put it away. Positioning was good. That's a good delivery. They all go up. Ganguly isn't happy. The finger has gone up. There was an obvious noise. It really does rear viciously at him. But did he make connection with it? Definitely a noise and the fielders were spontaneous on the appeal. Very difficult. Actually hit him. It could have even hit the sleeve on the back end. But we'll come back to that. 98 for 5. Focusing on how to get Rahul Dravid out at this stage. Yep. Zimbabwe right back into this. That's 
it's walked away on the onside. The placement is good. And that will reach the boundary. Big swinger of the ball. This one coming in to the pad. So nearly hit leg stump. Raul drafted the ball from the end of the wickets. No, it just missed by a centimetre or so to the leg side of leg stump. That's put away in style by Dravid. Short delivery attempted by Heat Streak, but he got into position quickly. Didn't try and hit it too hard. Yes, he was in control of the shot himself into a very good position to hit that fine never really tried to swivel too quickly and hit it square almost a paddle round there is somebody they to come of course what a lovely shot this off the back foot from Sachin Tendulkar he was quickly into position he picked the line he picked the leg so early look at the way he's got into position not too much movement off the back foot, just transferring the weight rather than moving the back foot. And then he picked the spot beautifully too. This man loves batting against Zimbabwe. I think he's the equivalent of Andy Flower. Just seems to regard Zimbabwe as his favorite side. He's come out full of confidence today. One close shave and the ball might have hit leg, an ex slightly exposed leg stump. Yeah, that was asking to be hit. It was gentle, it was over pitch, it was outside leg stump. And Tendulkar really didn't have to put too much power behind it. Still managed to reach the boundary for four. With no protection there at all. Or somebody young. He's trying to get a little bit of testing. Even Tendulkar. Then he messed it up by bowling that ball on the pads. Now uh, he suffers with another boundary of the thick outside edge. Outstanding. And he'll pick up four here as well. Or will it pull up just inside? <laughs> it's one of those cruel ones. It just makes it. But these are the boundaries I actually enjoy. Got up as much as Watamba wanted it to. So it allowed Rahul Zavu to... No, no, no. Nice to see lots of top. Oh, that is a gorgeous shot. Tremendous shot. Four more to Raul Dravid. But that'll make him feel better. Play that shot. It seemed the fielder was uh, a little wide at mid on. So as soon as the ball started to nip back into him, he played it with a very, very straight bat. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Just made sure the placement was right. It's made for a great photograph. That it could freeze the picture just after he's finished playing the ball. It looks sensational. Another one. Oh, this is getting a bit of a symphony now. This one wasn't uh, as pitched up a true wicket. Good bounce. He's played it on the up. Once again, very, very straight. A lot of diving work there for the man at mid on. But to no avail. He's taking his time here. Look for two. That's good running. Excellent running. Tumbo was deep on the boundary. Indulka spotted that. When you find. Uh, point and uh, get a short extra cover for Tendulka. Be attacking. It's the kind of field that will give you a sleepless night. Yes, it really is a rare sight, uh, Ravi. A spinner really bowling as economically as Murphy has in the process. Full toss and put away. As 
I said, it's really going to be very difficult. No difficulty at all for Tenduka. Just a roll of the wrist and away she goes, carrying through the boundaries. Again on leg stump. Again a half volley. Consecutive boundaries here for Tendulka. This will not please the Zimbabwean captain because uh, Lignot's got a field packed on the offside. And it's poker. The captain expects a uh, support bowler to really pull on a tight leash, not give anything away. And with Lignot really proving very expensive. That's crashed off the back foot and into the gap. Third boundary of the over for Tendulka. And India very quickly closing in on Zimbabwe. 164 for five. Playing that paddle sweep. Last couple of years or so. That's the shot that has given Tendulka a lot of runs. That's cut away and into the gap as well. That's a fine shot. Good footwork. It wasn't all that short, but Kendulka back and across. He's tough that. Set the margin of error. Very less when you're bowling to it. That's when the caliber of Sachin Kendulka whacked away. Just rocks back, put it away in style. It's and what a catch! That is a magnificent catch. Kendulka dismissed there. To hit it too hard in the process and edge induced what an effort that is really flew like a bird look at that try to hit it away from the body tries to drive look at that he flew like a bird and plucked it out of thin air fantastic effort Stuart Carlisle he's made that look easy on the stroke of lunch India now 178 for six that's not a good delivery and it's dealt with so quickly into position there's a good batting strip, but there is pace in the wicket. The full shot, uh, Rahul Ravid, really launched into it with great uh, enthusiasm the moment he saw it short around the off stump. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. Not quite expected. I think it came off the bottom of the bat. Not to consider going for it because it didn't quite reach first slip Alistair Campbell really had to move forward for it because it hit the bottom edge of the bat really is difficult to anticipate he left an open area at Miron which Diga has exploited to pick up at least two here back, 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 back. The street running across from it all with more than two The delivery but it's beautifully played by driver it had to reach a long way to make this into a rise to the offside footprint is excellent which again good running by uh, Samir Zige very alert looking for that rotate the strike And more misfilled. Andy Blickner going down with one hand. That was sloppy. A couple more runs to Diga. They just need to take stock of themselves at the moment. That's a fine shot. That really is a fine shot. It was the width. It was also too full. The foot placement absolutely. Looking to get under that front foot. It's just in the right slot. More importantly, of course, he picked the gap. There's another fine shot. This time off the back foot. He's going to have to think about bowling with. As soon as he saw that there was a bit of width in it, he latched onto it. No chance at all for the fielders. Seems to me that Lignon may be tiring a bit. He's had a spell before lunch. It's gone for a full shot. Wasn't short enough, and it's gone straight up. And 
Andy Picknout has struck the all-important wicket of Raul Dravid. He has just had a little bit more bounce than the earlier pull shot, you can see. And again, it was outside the off stump. That's a dangerous place, dangerous area from where to try and play the pull shot, particularly on pacier, bouncier pitches. You're never going to be in complete control. That's what happened. Rahul Dravid ended hitting it up in the air wicket at 208. Loose delivery, and that's been put away by Digate. Enough time to rock back onto that back foot and smash it through mid-wicket. Sitting up nicely. That's a lovely shot down the ground by Harbhajan for another boundary. He's a mug with the bat. Once again, timing it very well. Hit one big, uh, striving for the Yorker. Just underpitched it a bit, turned into half volley. That comes down nice and straight. And, uh, that's one of the best shots in the book. And hit it back past the bowler like that. That feels quick as well. Oh, outside edge. No need for punch at the bat there. <laughs> the edge did, would do. Been second slip and gully. That cost him four more as well. And he's got four more. This time he threw everything at it. I'm not quite sure it came in the middle of the bat. When you throw so much wood at ball, it doesn't really matter. 235 for seven. Oh! That's more runs. How often has Watamba erred towards the end of an over? It's something he wants to think about. Another boundary. 236 for seven. Like that. But that, he's got a lot of wood on that. It's gone a long, long way. Has it gone the distance? Oh, oh. Can anything worse happen after you've been hit for a six? No, 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 no. Use the outside edge. It just flies past slip. Oh, well, there again, the inconsistency in the line and length from Bucknut. It's got two pretty decent deliveries. Third one, halfway down the wicket. Yeah, 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 yeah. They decide to go for it, and that brings up the 50 of the partnership. Came of just seven. Oh, he's gone for it. You can't hold him back too long. But he's picked his spot well, so don't hold that against him. That's another boundary. And India go up to 262 for seven. Lead of 89. He's gone under it and then uppercut it. That's intentional. Over the top of cover. Another boundary. This could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Nicely played. He had the wit, but he had to find the gap, which he did. On that length, always easy to do, beautifully placed. Wait well forward, and he's playing it off the back foot. One of the better shots we've seen today. Big uh, shout. He, but he did walk. He did walk in the end because Russell Tiffin gave him the opportunity to. It's one of those that have come off the middle of the bat, telling him, I don't need to put my finger up if you want to go. And Samir Deegan. Hold him. Knocked his up big back. the new ball, extra bounce, Samuel Khan wasn't sure whether to play or not, and in the end dragged it on, but unlucky of bat, pad, long wait to break the partnership, and then another wicket straight away. He's 
gone for the big shot. Will it be a catch? Oh, it's a very good attempt. But it's a boundary. That's very well played. It should go to the boundary. It should outpace the fielder. It has. So that'll take... Uh, yes, that's it. And I'm sure the dressing room will be up there cheering him. Very, very popular young man. His first half century in Test cricket. There it is. Everybody out. Well, that should be more runs. Ashish Nehra pretty confident that it could go to the boundary. It has. Wasn't uh, willing to take the run. Restraining time for the Zimbabwean bowlers. Four Raul Dravid's wicket. India was seven down. The lead of only 20 odd. Calling for two. Stand it very well, uh, Harbhajan Singh has. thing is he doesn't really get into line at the present moment he's enjoying it all pumped through the point area four runs written all over it well, he's hit some pretty good shot he's improvised beautifully swiveled on the back foot and he's put it away too square like a despairing dive and all in vain for Bhajan Singh really blossoming Talk about improvisation. He's clobbered that over the top of covers for four. Amazing improvisation from Harbhajan Singh. He's really going great guns for India. Well, he just moves his left leg out the way. It's almost one day style batting. Get your left leg out the way, give yourself a bit of room. And he's absolutely creamed that over the top of covers. Tell you what, India's found a pinch hitter for the one day series. This could be out. He's ballooned it in the air and an easy catch at mid on. Fantastic aggressive winning for India. And he's put the Indians in the driver's seat. India can make early inroads to go. But the rescue by Sachin. Well, India were rescued firstly by Sachin Denzel who had a 74 more. And when he looks so well, has a wonderful cameo which is which the skin in the past is running a sitting egg between all the land in the two state. 380 in all line overs and in the line overs in 89 overs and 5 hours. Bobby's first looks at the captain keeping Bobby's first looks for the steady pass of the captain and he's strictly creeping up with overs for the pushing 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 so India, that's how they stand up. He knows what a wicket, or what an early wicket can do. Really put the pressure on the middle, on the middle order. Slashed hard, over the top, four runs all the way. He's had a full go to that side also. And they all say, if you're going to go, go hard out there. So if you do get an edge, so it might clear the slips. And it does on this occasion. Yes, he's made his intentions clear. It's not going to be on the defensive. It's very important that the Zimbabweans really don't go into a shell. Forget about the lead of uh, 145 that they've conceded. Play their normal, instinctive, natural game. More runs. These uh, may well be leg buys. Out of way. Slashed hard over the top. More runs. To make sure the ball does get over the slips. Should be out. Ball bouncing up. Bad pad off the thigh pad. Simple catch. It. And he's back in the pavilion. Bobby? Yes, the only were a little bit disappointed with that. Uh, really didn't quite get to the right position. Oh, that's a little too wide. 
It's allowed Stuart Carlisle to open his uh, account with a crashing drive before Carlisle gets off the mark. The one day cricket certainly has uh, contributed to many of you quite content to let the ball alone, but not to after one day cricket. It's a spike to the field. Nicely driven. It's ricochet off uh, the stumps to a boundary. The question is whether Ashish Nera did get a bit of a fingertip to it or not. If he did, yeah, very good. Great drive straight down the ground. Can't actually tell from there. Oh, wow. The batsman was out of the crease or not. It's a boundary. Didn't quite uh, go where he intended it to. But he was looking for a cut. It's gone between... Oh, what a catch! What a catch there! Guy without chancing his arm once again outside that off stump. Getting a thick outside edge. Today really has been a day of catches. We see here bold, shortish, wide, no feet, plays away from his body. And there we go, diving to his left. Brilliant catch. With the, the all-time best, 34 for two. That's through the covers. Well driven by Alistair Campbell. It looks like it might have enough on it to get all the way. And it has. So, good boundary. Well, again now, I should start out to be trying to get the ball closer to the left hand, trying to get the ball up the string a little bit more. So the ball, very easy, not hurried at all. The bat coming down very nicely. <laughs> That's a good shot. Straight back down the ground. Hit very firmly indeed. And Mr. Campbell finishes the over with the second boundary. Eddie does put short and Stuart Collard doesn't miss out either. Quite up the middle of the bat, but enough of the bat on it. And it uh, just rolls its way into the picket fence. Stuart Collard has come down the track. Okay, yeah! Just like that. Those are the dozens you were talking about, Sonny. Thick inside edge. Looped up. Well, this was the quicker delivery. Bad pad to Shiv Sundar Das at a forward shot leg. And Alistair Campbell doesn't even win the day's play for 63. Now that's all right, fine, and it'll be four runs. Tempted Yorker. His leg stumpish, Stuart Collard, just uh, tipped it around the corner for four. 67 for 3. Oh, That's the wrong one. No! That is the wrong one, but I think uh, Brian Murphy was uh, too far up. Of course, up. the lines make not a lot of difference when you're not playing a shot. It can hit you outside off. What oh, a catch. That touch in Tenuta certainly isn't happy. It's gone to the boundary. 70 for 3. Runs. I'm not sure these are two streak all out. So it will be an extra of some sort. In fact, it's just. So, Brian Murphy can safely play that shot and get a boundary for his efforts. What a bad looking thing. You were just saying nobody out to protect any bigger shot. But uh, that's textbook perfect. 13th test. Big shot. I don't think that'll interest uh, Umpire Harper. Oh, sorry, it's uh, Umpire Tiffany. Good start by Stuart Allow. One of his favourite shots. An uppercut. So it was short. It was wide. It was saying, hit me. And that's exactly what uh, Stuart Carlyle did. Yeah! 
Big shot. Not out. That could be out. That's a great catch. What a fucking catch! in this test match. This is one more. Bat, pad, and away to his left. Shiv Sundar Das. He's pushed to the forward shot lift position, but he's doing very well at that. Brian Murphy out for 10. The best hope of saving this game rests in the hands of this man. Big flower. Played really aggressively in the first innings. Cracking square cut. This time, fix that harbinger and sing at point. That's a good looking shot. Played off the back foot, but full face of the bat. A tremendous timing straight down the ground. Did for the ball to swing in. Didn't even bother to move. He knew that as soon as he had hit it, that it was going to be a boundary. Four runs. He will not miss out on the opportunity like that, Andy Flower. Bit of whip, short as well, smashed away. Good start by Andy Flower through the covers. Zahir Khan. Indian That's a lovely delivery. It's an absolute chaffer. Keeper doesn't collect it cleanly. Watch the shape here. Going past the outside edge, not by much. That's a fine shot. A little bit of width off with there, but the front foot came out nicely. 50 for Stuart Carlisle. No protection there, no third man. India is still uh, a few runs ahead. So Saurav Ganguly has got men in catching positions rather than in run save. Right on the middle and off stump for the right-hander. Then that one. It's swept away. Ah. No one taking that area. Four and all over it. Gets into a great position. What's that head in line of the ball when he plays that shot? Edged, and just as I said, it's a loose shot. He's lost concentration there, Stuart Carlisle. He's disgusted with himself. Playing with the bat away from the body. That was a casual shot from Carlisle after having done all the hard work. Look at that. That one swinging away from the bat. He's played away from the body. A loose shot from Carlisle. Back in the pavilion. So very, very goes for 52. Zimbabwe, 134 for 5. Oh, to dig it out. Oh. So Zimbabwe go into lunch. Still there on 33. And the reverse sweep wasn't going to be too long before he brought that into his repertoire. And he picked the right ball, very full of length, put a foot out. Yes. Caught the outside edge, it turned a bit on Andy Flower. He wanted to hit it behind square, but he didn't get the middle of the bat as he would have liked. That is hot in his mouth for a while. Mark Flower had his troubles with the... Really good shot there. Another bouncer. This one is hooked by Andy Fly. Chose to leave the previous delivery. Wasn't all in control of the single to end the over. 156 for five. Reverse sweep again. This one overslipped. 
And that's because there was a bit of bounce in that delivery. Oh, a little bit fortunate there. Just pushing down the line of the delivery. Possibly going to pick up three here. He's run it hard. Rotating the strike. Well, he's picking up three. Andy Flower, reverse sweep again. He will not allow himself to be dominated by spin Andy Flower. And he's picked up another 50 innings. That away on the leg side, very fine. He's going to pick up a few here. That's what Andy Flower will be thinking. Walked away on the onside. Get two runs comfortably here. Runs also beginning to flow. He's got that away. That'll beat Harbhajan and reach the boundary. Such a good over. Should get two quite easily. Don't play as easy. Oh, that's a good stop. All the good work and runs. Might just go all the way, it's pushed just in. Harbhajan's reaction after pushing it in was to suggest it might have gone out big. I reckon he might have got a run out of option here. Well, I think the third umpire's goal, and it is. So I guess it's able to run out anyway. Well, to be fair, I think it was DK was having a stab at the run out. But no, <laughs> the ball went for four. Really, it was all over. Having, having said that. And two taken quite easily. Another couple here. So, 211 for 5 after 74 overs. Yes. Nice shot that. Didn't quite uh, get in the meat of the bat, but uh, has still got enough in it to, to get a couple. Both the Flower brothers have been running busily, but of course, is he, he's not able to pick which one's wrong on which one's the natural leg spin. Beaten again. Might even have got a bit of an edge on that. No signal. Big shot for LBW again, but again, that's very hopeful. Outside leg, probably a bit of bat in it. Dead at all. How on earth can you shot for that? Should be runs, maybe more than a single if they hurry. Rahul Dravid, very quick there, but... Uh, Cannot prevent the batsman from taking two. Tendul will walk to the two. It really has been a feature of this partnership. Andy Flower using the. Now, but when he gets a. Uh, a short and wide delivery is still not going to let it go. A cracking strike at that. The hard ball goes quicker to the boundary. It's beautifully played right over it. The third man not able to prevent. Match referee. TV umpire next to him, Jeff Finnick. That's it. Up and over. Fortune. For Andy Flower, big outside edge, enough on it to carry the slips.
Hamburg really guided Andy to really play some extravagant shots. That's up, and it's out this time. Another fantastic catch. Zimbabwe's troubles continue. This has been one of his... He's a bit disappointed. He got one over the slips of the ball before. Absolutely fantastic catch. Sadak open. He really is elated. And he's 235 for six. He's captain. He's out of the wicket. It's quite amazing how many times a wicket falls around a tea interval or a lunch interval. Good shot. Umpire Tiffin will have to decide there. And he's uh, pitched in line below the knee roll. That would have hit middle stump. Just umpires, of course, could have due to the naked eye. I scamper off for a quick single, eye contact. That's runs for ground flower. Flick neatly off the legs. He'll pick up a comfortable two, he may think of a third. Streak very quick between the wickets. Flower goes to 40, not out. That's a good shot. Straight down the ground, best shot in the book. Ground flower has just played it. Brilliantly. Right there in the slot. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Just timed it to perfection. Scurrying along to the boundary. Have a look at that. Sheer timing. It's up in the air. But I think Ashis Nera picked it up a little bit late. It's not easy to pick up uh, the ball. Not too short. Streak pounces onto it, off the front foot. Boundary and a half century to ground flower. It's a very well compiled innings. He's quite content to play in the shadow of his brother Andy Flower, who batted so well in the morning. But after the... Then we whipped round. Over mid wicket, few bounces into the boundary fence, takes him. Here. The crowd's really enjoying themselves, and that's how it should be. Zimbabwe have given them plenty to cheer. And here's one more shot that'll bring in the applause. Huge shout, he's given him! Oh. Umpire Russell Tiffin took his time, then decided that to a a swing on that. Yes, Zahir Khan bowling round the wicket, and there was just, uh, one got a feeling, a double noise. But I think the bat has hit the pad here. Yes, the ball has turned into the pad after that. And a pretty good decision. There's a lot of good... Harper's just called Saurav Ganguly and said he's run on the track again. He's just shook, shaken his hands vigorously and said, no, I can't have him bowling anymore. This is the fourth ball of the over and he's handing him his cap and sweater back. This is unprecedented. He's had a lot of warnings right through the day, lots of close looks at that follow-through. Now I'm by Daryl Harper, having first told the captain, one more transgression and he's gone, has now taken the cap. He's bowled from wide of the crease, a lot wider than he was bowling earlier. But it's that first tried. Aggressive shot. He slap sweep. Most Zimbabweans play the shot fairly effectively. Andy Brooklyn's played it really well here. Four runs to Zimbabwe. Pulled the ball from outside the off stump, it looks like. Yes, he has. Against the turn as well. Oh, 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 
straight onto the arm. He's come off the pad. I'm not sure that uh, Harper will allow this as leg bias. We'll have to wait and see. He has done so. He feels the shot was played. Four more runs to the Zimbabwe in total. 288 to seven. Up in the air. It won't carry though. Khan just gets it on the bounce. Viewing out that area must be a little bit. Well, that's not going to do the cause for coming off any good. Very confident shot from Ron Flaher. It's the first time he's come down and been aggressive against Hop. Down the wicket, to the pitch, straight back over the bowler's head. One bounce, two bounces, into the advertising board. Fine. Tigers at home, pussycats abroad. That was the reputation that Sachin Tendulkar and India swept aside with an eight-wicket victory over Zimbabwe in Bulawayo. Is their all-round cricket? Raul Dravid got the ball rolling with a brilliant turn and throw to run out Grant Flower. India's fielding has improved markedly, and so has the bowling. We've known for some time that Javagar Sunath can do this, but the pace and movement of Ashish Nehera was a welcome surprise. He got the all-important wicket of Andy Flower on day three. Zimbabwe made only a handful of runs on the morning of day four, which left India 184 to win. And the hero of the innings was man of the match, Strip Sundar Das, who repaid the selector's faith with an unbeaten 82. The only worry for coach John Wright is that his key batsmen got themselves out when they looked set for a big score. But all in all, India's new coach was a happy man. They certainly do. It was an outstanding display of all-round cricket, but one that will mean very little if they give the series back in Harare. Finally, India look like they have the fitness, talent, and most importantly, attitude to do just that.